TCS installation. TCS is generally designed and sold as kits, which include the TCS halves and straps with tabs to secure the cable tray, and the cable tray is provided. Notice that the tabs must be aligned during installation to allow the cable tray to snap into place. The kit also includes installation instructions and a warning plate, as well as assembly drawings which show a 3D image of the kit, system layout showing physical dimensions, the TCS half specifications such as voltage and power rating, and a kit bill of material. Junction boxes are also provided for electrical connection and one box is required for each TCS section. They are secured in place using slots on the underside of the box and the existing TCS straps. Notice the slits in the bottom of the box allowing the strap to be threaded through. Contained in the junction box is a terminal block rated appropriately for the application. Note that the junction box does not fit under the cable tray. TCS is supplied with 18 inch flying leads made of 10 gauge MGT wire. There is one optional item sometimes provided with TCS. TCS can be provided either in standard incremental diameters or in custom diameters. If TCS is provided in standard incremental diameters, a gasket material must be used to fit TCS to the barrel. However, the material is only required for standard TCS parts with incremental inside diameters. There is one additional part and one special tool to install TCS. TCS is thicker than traditional band heaters and it is recommended to use thermocouple well extensions to provide the thermocouples with additional protection as they go through the TCS wall to the exterior. Notice that the penetration from the exterior to the barrel is through the seam of the two TCS halves, which is approximately 83 millimeters or 3.25 inches, and as such, it is recommended to use extensions that are 90 to 100 millimeters long or 3.5 to 4 inches. These extensions should easily be purchased from your current parts vendor. Thermocouple access will be cut during the installation process to allow the TCS halves to be positioned exactly as required to provide a snug fit between adjacent TCS sections without any gaps which would cause heat loss. It is recommended to use a file or a drywall tool, though if done carefully, an appropriately sized threaded fastener will work. It is also best to have some coarse sandpaper available to adjust the diameter TCS, which is easily sanded if necessary to provide a better fit. Installation of TCS is fairly straightforward. There are 13 steps in the installation process. The first step is removing the traditional band heaters, and standard lockout tagout procedures should be followed. The barrel surface should be cleaned, but a perfectly smooth surface is not necessary. A safety document detailing safety procedures is also included in the kit. Replace the thermocouple adapters with the longer version discussed earlier. Again, these are not included with the TCS kit. The bill of material should re be reviewed to verify the kit is complete, and then the distance from the end of the installed system to the first thermocouple should be measured to define where the first TCS section will be placed. Be sure the area is clear of any hardware, such as bolt heads, that may interfere with the TCS section. Prior to cutting the thermocouple penetrations, be sure to position all four flying leads of the two TCS halves on the same side of the barrel. Then, mark the location for the thermocouple on the TCS section and slowly grind a half circle into the edge of the part using the 15 millimeter tool. Do not exceed 9.5 millimeters depth. The material will grind away very quickly. Take extreme care not to put excess pressure on the tool or the part. After you have created the thermocouple penetration on both halves, Place the heater halves on the barrel, thread the strap through the junction box, and place the strap around the heater. Secure the heater to the barrel firmly by fastening the strap to a maximum of 10 inch-pounds. Over-tightening can cause damage to the heater, however the heater should not be movable by hand when tight. Be sure to align the straps to allow the cable tray to be installed later. Then, measure the distance from the edge of the first installed zone 
to the center of the next zone thermocouple. Recall the goal is to properly position the thermocouple penetrations so there are no gaps between TCS sections once installed. Per step 10, repeat the process for each zone, minimizing any gaps between adjacent sections. Step 11 is associated with the electrical connections and calls out the need to note the voltage printed on each heater half and also specified in the kit drawings to determine if the heater halves must be wired in series, which is the case when the zone voltage is twice that of the marked heater voltage, or in parallel, which is the case if the zone voltage is equal to the marked heater half voltage. TCS must be wired in accordance with voltage rating an incorrect wiring approach will result in accelerated failure or a lack of adequate power for the application. Step 12 shows the process for making the electrical connections. And step 13 demonstrates how to snap the cable trays onto the tabs provided on the straps. Thank you for your time. Please contact your TCS representative with any further questions. Mm -hmm.